aria. Hi guys, back in the woods. Ah, oh, the light's come back. I've been waiting for this light to reappear. Cool. I've just got this tree on the right. Just going up the side of the frame. And some more of those roots come into play. Bonus. The headline of this video, do I regret buying the R8? Um, good question. There's a lot of stigma, I think, behind the R8s in that people keep calling it a beginner's camera. Now, I came from the R6, the first one, and um, and then I lost my all my equipment. Long story. And uh, so I bought the R8 because it was cheaper than the R6 Mark II because I didn't really want to rebuy the R6 after just having one. I might as well try and upgrade somehow. Now, the R8 sensor is the same as the R6 Mark II. Now, for my style of shooting, the R8 just made logical sense. Um, but do I regret buying it? Um, I don't think I do. I don't regret buying it. I do miss a few things about the R6, mainly the size of the camera. It is a bigger camera, bigger battery. Not that I've had problems with this one. And I must admit, when I had the R6, there were times I wished it was smaller and lighter. So I'm just gonna get this shot in the bag and we're gonna move on and I'll, I'll continue. Because that's all part of the YouTube way keep you hanging. There we go, oh, that's a nice picture. Is there a bit of mist there? Hmm, interesting. Okay, we're gonna move on. Look at that, the sun's already moved. That's why it looks different. Let me just get a picture of that sun that's moved. Wow, in that short space of time, the sun's moved from behind that tree into my shop. Well, there you go. Nature, eh? I wonder if it's going to capture that. It's like a wiggly line going across the lake. It looks quite good. I think it's a... Oh, there's a robin right behind the camera. Oh. So don't move. Oh, don't, oh, don't move. I can't even see it on my camera. Oh, don't move, Robin. Oh, now he's down there. Just when I discovered where he was sitting. Oh, you're too close, Robin, you're too close. Ugh. I did have a shot. I did have a shot, now I haven't got a shot. I took a few pictures, so I'll put them up on screen, let me know what you think. Um, yeah, I would have died as that was that kingfish just sitting there and I couldn't get it. Oh, what would you have done? Would you have took the camera off the tripod maybe? But then again, my camera is set up for a two second timer as well. What would you have done? 
I just wasn't in that shooting mode. Uh, I'm very slow. That's I'm a tripod shooter. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can get this back. There we go. I need to sort out this lens looking through the camera because I couldn't see sod all when I looked through there. Okay, the lights changed, which is not too bad. I'm getting some of that nice mist in the background. I might take a picture of my hand just to close this off. So I know where I am in this reel. Right, back to my question. Do I regret buying the, R uh, the R8s? Um, I don't really. It's, I think it's better. It's a better camera than the R6, despite the stigma of people saying this is a... <laughs> oh, he's back on that perch. Can you believe it? If I was just being a bit more patient. Oh, come on. He's teasing me. Teasing me. Oh, if I had that cat, the animal eye assist on now, well, that'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so cool. I wish I could be more into nature photography, like birds and stuff. Look at that. I wonder if I can quickly get that animal. There you go. Eye detection on now. Oh yeah. Oh, he's flown off again. Oh. That was so cool. So cool. There. Now I'm now I'm ready for him. He ain't back. I'll keep it posed up a little bit. Anyway, I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, um, despite the stigma on the R8 being a, being a beginner's camera, I still think the specs are better than the R6 for my type of shooting. Now, if I was doing birding, maybe I'd be complaining that it's a bit slow or it buffers up, where the R6 is, is apparently a bit quicker because of the mechanical shutter. It hasn't got a mechanical shutter. But that's not my style of photographing. But it'd be good for the odd picture of like I've just done. Um, so no, I don't really regret buying the R8. Now I'm gonna stop talking because I'm gonna wait for that bird to come back. Hopefully he'll come back. I'll give it a few minutes. I think that's what you gotta do when you do birding, isn't it? Is be patient. Yeah, okay. Well, I waited around there for a few more minutes. Um, sadly, the robin didn't return, so I ended up just moving on. And to be fair, I didn't really wait around that long. I just walked away from that mushroom shot. I didn't want to get my bag out and camera and tripod out. Would you have done all that to get the shot? Or is it just me being lazy? I haven't got a macro lens, so I would have had to do it with the zoom lens. That's my excuse. Yeah. Thanks for watching the video and uh, supporting the channel. I hope you press the subscribe button and the thumbs up. It all helps. Yeah. I'm sort of heading back now. That robin was good. What I did is I've changed my, you know, those custom settings you can do with the C1, C2. I've tried customized them now. One for that servo setup for nature and the other one for my normal photography just in case that ever happens again 
I can just go straight to the custom setting. Switch over instantly. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, again, thanks again. Please subscribe, it's free. Free to join. <laughs> Special offer. <laughs> offer ends at the end of the month. Catch you guys soon. Get out there and start taking pictures, I suppose. Yeah. See you later.